If you got the Valhalla DLC, you might have noticed that there isn't a quest for the DLC showing up while playing on your characters in Hell difficulty. That's because the quest line is only available on normal difficulty, for some odd reason. If you don't do the quest line, you will still be able to access 4 of the 5 zones of the DLC. You just won't be able to access Helheim. Besides missing out on the last zone, you will also miss out on one of the most important features of the DLC, which is the bounty board. This one you can only access once you completed the Valhalla storyline. Funnily enough, the bounty board is only available on Hell difficulty. This weird setup of the DLC caused again confusion for me, until I figured it out. So I wanna show you guys how it's done. So that you can easily unlock Helheim and the bounty board for all of your characters from now on. I really hope they will change this in the future, so that the quest line is available on every difficulty. Because having to do it on normal mode and then the bounty board only being available on hell difficulty is just weird. But let's move on. The first thing you want to do after purchasing the DLC is walking down here in Inoya. Hit the boss one time. And then just hit your double a few times. And wait for the cast to end. Once it's finished, you will be brought to the DLC area. Everything you've ever loved will be obliterated as the prophecy unfolds. And you can activate the teleport sigil and accept the first two quests. You can find the hog meat by just killing enemies nearby. And then cook it up at the fire beside the NPC. For the next quest, you want to go to the plains of Ida. This map has two exits. You don't want to go through the gates of Valhalla exit. Go through the other one and you will find Haldor again. To open the gate to the boss fight, you have to solve the puzzle by putting the right object on the socket. But if you have a teleport ability, you can just port through the gate 
and avoid doing it. Foolish mortal, know that it was you who freed me from my prison. As I have taken the form of Odin, I shall grant you the pleasure of seeing your own. Everything you've ever loved will be obliterated. Now that we have the key, go to the gates of Valhalla exit to reach the next area. In the Forgotten Caves, we have a side quest that you can do, but you don't have to. Here you just have to find 4 wheels and attach them to the minecart. Afterwards, just go to the exit of this map to reach the Camp of Souls. Next you have to find the toy bear for this NPC. I always found it on the bottom right of the map, but I'm not sure if the spawn point is always the same. I have denied Valhalla from you, and you shall deny Helheim from these filthy pests. You are only human. Your mind will break, and your body will follow. Now go through the opened up portal and accept the boat quest. My tip for the boat ride is that you can use your mouse to fire the cannon. You don't have to use the F key. Otherwise just watch the video or do it a few times until you know the patterns of the boss and enemies.
Now we come to the last quest. Here you pretty much just need to run through straight until you reach the final boss. There is no denying fate. It was written that one day I shall rule the afterlife as I please, and that you would be the catalyst for my reign. Today, you have fulfilled your part in the plan of the ancients, and I have... No, this is not the end. My power is endless. You may be strong. But you are not eternal. May the hand of Odin be your final judgment. This is cannot be the prophecy. When you now go back on Hell difficulty, you will see that the bounty board is unlocked. And I highly recommend that you do this quest whenever you can. It can give you runes, bifrost keys, relics and items. The only downside is if you want to unlock Helheim on Hell difficulty, you have to do the boat mini game again. If you found this guide helpful, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this.